What I'm about to show you is a couple of clips from uh, favorite movies of mine. Uh, mostly it'll be about Predator, Predator 2, and uh, Eric Harris and Dylan Cleveland's favorite movie, Natural Born Killers. Denver Post identifies the two suspects as 18-year-old Eric Harris and 17-year-old Dylan Feeble. It's my freaking weapon. I bought it. And I only want is a weapon. Because I have one. So I'm telling myself to do this. To come to <laughs> I train myself. No one, no one knows what's going to happen. Just me. I haven't told any of my friends. None of my family knows this. No one knows that I have all this stuff. Later.
So whenever I see him, all I do is I remember what he did to me, to my sisters, and my mother. I can still hear the sounds his hand made whenever he would hit our bodies. Like that. And I don't lie. I'm not lying to you. I would hear those sounds. And you're still doing it, huh? Like that, he would hit us with his bare hand. Head. Back. Rear. And it wasn't really the physical pain. It was the emotional pain. That a father, a person that you loved, was doing this to you. And your, fa and your family. He could do that to me all he wanted. It would have been discipline. But disciplining my mom? She was about his same age. And he was disciplining her like a child. I treated everybody with respect. As best as I could. All I wanted was respect in return. I treated my drill sergeants with respect. Drill sergeant this, drill sergeant that. I treated them with the best respect I could. But nothing was in return. But no one respected me like that sometimes. We're told that you must stand up for yourselves. And this is the way I know how. No one listens to me. They all think I'm weird, that I'm a freak. Maybe I am. But I'm tired of being one. And I'm going to end it. This is what's going to happen. Come sometime. I don't know, maybe September. Anyway, I, when I came back from basic training, I saw a movie that I had seen before, before leaving. A movie that changed my life forever. A documentary, actually, called Golden Columbine. I ran to the board for Columbine because I said, what's this? I heard about it before, so I, I watched it. And it, it is about done with I love and the Columbine master. When I came back to basic training, I wanted to watch it again because I remembered it. I saw it again. And then, after I saw it again, I was sick. I said, I gotta find out more about this car in my basketball. And I suddenly became obsessed with him. Became obsessed with the victim and the two people who did it. Eric Harry, they were the people. I got I said to myself, I gotta find out more. It just fascinated me, you know? I didn't hear it as a bad thing. I was hear it as a, as a, as a, as a, I didn't know it. It, it attracted my attention. I do not want to go back to training. I do not want to go back to Virginia. I, don't, I do not want to go back to those drill sergeants, those sharks, those sharks who want us to do push -ups. I'll give you a push up. You want to make me, I'll, you want to smoke me? I'll smoke you. I'll smoke you. Don't do it. Don't yell. I'll smoke you. You want to yell at me? I'm tired of being yelled at. I've been yelled at all my life. Hi, Honor. Well, I finally got it. Just one second. Good job. <laughs> Sorry. Look at it. Here it is, Honor. Look who's your name. And this is my nickname. Look at this monster. Beautiful, isn't it? Who is it? This is a moss bird. Just bought it yesterday at Walmart. I'm sure there was... Look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? Just look at it, I've always wanted one of these. Look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Beautiful, isn't it? Mossberg. It's just edible. It's working. I love what it is. I love it with all my heart. Seven days left. Seven. It'll all be over on it.